Well, that was the tune. <sighs> tune by Leo Kaki called Watermelon. <clears throat> off his Armadillo album. And this is the pipe. This is a Wally Frank that I tried to restore. You can see the rustication there. The original stem is here. It's vulcanite and uh, it has a stinger in it, which I took out. And then I, uh, I did a salt treatment on it and then I um, made a stem for it that didn't work out and um, it just tasted horrible. So I figured, you know, I've got to make a new stem. So here's the new stem. Um, it's pretty thick if you if you look at in comparison to this you know but it seems to work okay um, it is fat and so you've got a lot of mass here that you're holding between your teeth <clears throat> but it really isn't all that uncomfortable and I don't know necessarily why, but so in it I have a little um, of the Gatlin Burlier's Newfound Blend. Um, and they advertise it on their sheet as uh, all American natural light burly and bright with a nutty aroma. Now Paladin and Piper did a review of this uh, several months ago. And said to him it tasted like a mixture of Carter Hall and Prince Albert. Okay. Well, I've never smoked uh, Carter Hall. Um, but I've smoked Prince Albert. Um, and I really like this. Um, and I can I can see where this is a codgery type blend, you know. Uh, but I really do like it. Uh, let's take a close-up look here. At the, you can see the... lovely tobacco um, so let's go ahead and light it up here Draw is fine. I smoked one bowl of uh, this in it last night. Um, does have a nutty taste. You know, it's really, really good. I've smoked, well, I still have some in the bowl, but almost the whole two ounces I got in the sampler pack. So <clears throat> definitely something I definitely will be reordering. Uh, makes me want to try some more codger blends. I like this stubby pipe, you know. It's really neat. Um, I love the giant bowl. I think it would smoke just about anything uh, pretty well. Sorry for the camera not focusing.
Well, that's all. I just wanted to throw up another video. Probably won't have so much more musical content. I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, try to focus on pipes and tobacco. Uh, I'm not really great at picking out all the nuances of a blend, uh, although I'm working on it. I certainly can taste the different flavors in this. It seems like it has some kind of an anise topping or something like that on it, but it, it works well. You know, it's not... It, uh, you really taste the tobacco and everything's to be well, everything seems to be well balanced and it's, it doesn't burn your tongue or anything like that. I would encourage you if you're a new pipe smoker, not to give up on aromatics. Um, you know, like most, I started out again with an aromatic and, uh, had horrible tongue bite. Um, but I persisted and I think after a couple weeks, um, the pH of my mouth might have changed somewhat, but then I switched to English blends. Um, I remember smoking some English blends and knew that they were not bitey. And, uh, and so I smoked those kind of exclusively for a while. I thought, you know, I'm doing myself a disservice by not pursuing the aromatics because there's so much good tobacco out there to be had and enjoyed. So I have done that and I am very, very happy um, that I'm on the aromatic trail. And this would definitely be in that category, but a light one for sure. So, well, that's it. Little Wally Frank nose warmer with a new stem and a little tune. Thanks for watching.